So that's a, oh my, whoa, whoa. Okay, I think we hit the trophy. It's recognized, okay, that was unexpected. Good day, everyone. Hopefully everyone had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. This is Scorchin here, back with another fishing video. We are trying to achieve the... I don't know why I always go to inventory first. Anyway, we're trying to achieve <laughs> the Bluegill Trophy and Unique. Um, we still need the Trophy Black Bullhead from the previous one, if you've watched it. The trophy didn't get caught, but we randomly caught the Black Bullhead on the bait that I was using to try to catch the Bluegill. And we still have to get the Channel Catfish for the mission Mudwater Panfish. I don't know how this is a panfish, but nonetheless, it's alright. Um, and then we still have to head over and do the mission Mudwater Trial. Still in the same lake, but... For right now, we'll focus on the Mudwater Panfish. Again, this is continuing off the previous episode of trying to catch the uh, Bluegill. I should probably be saving it, so we'll see how this goes. We'll probably catch five fish, see how it goes, and then we'll hop into the lore casting part of this video, which should be a little bit more exciting, and it will definitely put my uh, tackle up to the test. But yeah, so hopefully everyone had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Feel free to share some comments on how your Memorial Day weekend went, just to let you know ahead of time. I didn't do any recording on that day because I wanted to enjoy family time and relax. So we're picking it up on the next day after. So if you're watching this, this is a recording of the next day. But yeah, let's hop into it. While this is going, I'll let you know on how my Memorial Day went. Well, I worked the three days of uh, Thursday through Saturday into Sunday morning. I pretty much slept those two days and woke up late on Memorial Day. All right, no bite. I'm out with my girlfriend and her mom. And we basically just decided to focus on cleaning and things like that around the house. That's pretty much it. I wanted to let you know that I remember mentioning about the harvest. Well, the harvest is almost done. I went to look at the plants before I did anything. And the only one that looks like it's done is my potatoes, but I have to let them dry out for a little bit. So the harvest video may not come till a little bit later. And I also wanted to oh, we get a bite. Get over here. What are you? Of course, green sunfish. Uh, let's see if the bluegill lurks here. I wanted to wait till the plants were a little bit better, but as I looked, it looks like I only have maybe two that are ready out of the six that I have on the container gardening. So that's not going to happen for a little bit. Maybe while I'm on vacation, I'll let the uh, stuff dry out so that way we can easily get a better harvest and it, it's in that curing state of the uh, harvest time. So. That's not going to come till probably after my vacation, which will be the end of this week. Another thing is I may want to create a whole separate channel on this, uh, unless you guys think that it would be better to, oh God, I think took it. Of course we get a black bull head. This is what I was talking about. Oh Lord. Unless you guys think I should just put it on this channel. But what I plan on doing for this whole thing is... Having a gaming channel mixed with things that I want to do for myself. But when it comes to something for, let's say, me, my girlfriend, and my family and her family, I want to have like their own separate channel for that. I think it would be better if I can ask you guys if you are willing to want to follow along with the journeys. Obviously, if you prefer to be on this channel or that channel, I'd rather have like two separate sections. But basically, this channel will be fishing dedicated with the gaming perspective because I'm fishing and you can technically fish in game and you can fish it for real life. Now, if it's something with me and my girlfriend or me and family members or friends, I would like to see that on a separate channel. And I don't know how everyone else wants to see that, but you guys can let me know in the comments on that part. For right now, what I'm planning on doing is creating a whole separate channel for that. That will be in time's tell. Come on, take it. I'm not going to talk over this. Okay, we got a trophy white crappy. Nice. I don't want to overlap videos unless everyone's down for that. So yeah, I have the harvest video coming. I'll figure that out when it comes. But I still have to go on vacation first to let everything do its 
purpose in life for the plants and things like that. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee. I need coffee in my life. Oh, I should probably check on the... Dang it. Let me check that real quick. Can I advance forward in the time? Oh, perfect. Yay. All right, cool. So we'll advance time on the next um, fish because I'm going to probably swap over to the lures after we get to 20 on the uh, fish keeper up here. So yeah, separate channel for probably separate things. I also have a part coming in for my vehicle. And that's another thing too. So I don't know if you guys have newer or older vehicles, but I'm kind of like stuck at the moment. Like I have a 2021 high country Chevy. Like I worked my butt off at work to get this because I didn't want anything that was like used or anything like that. I wanted something reliant for the rest of my time of working. I've dealt with it in the past. I had a 2010 Chevy Silverado 1500. I think it was an LT. And I did all my repairs on that thing. Um, I did have a few upgrades done to it, which were my front bumper. Like I put one of those uh, steel front bumpers on. I think it was like uh, a move bumper. If you, if you know about trucks and things like that, that company move, you basically have to weld your project. So they'll give you like a set instructions and you have to weld the bumper. And I had that put on my truck and I also had rough country lift kit, I think three and a half inch. So that was my previous truck. Obviously I'm not doing it right now on my current truck, which is the 2500 2021 high country, but those are future plans. And that's why I wanted to bring up, should I have like a separate channel or should I have the single channel and put everything on it? That way I can mix everything up but uh anyway i have a uh the 2021 has a bunch of sensors on it like if, if anyone has one of those trucks i don't know if how when it started but if you notice from the um 2020s or maybe 2019s and up there's like barely a manual in existence and when i say barely a manual i'm only referring to hanes because that's when you go to an auto zone or if you have an auto zone near you i don't know if O'Reilly's or Napa or anything of them have different manuals, but my auto zones seem to apparently only have Hanes manuals. And I could not find a 2021 or that range year in a manual for my vehicle yet. I reached out to Hanes and um, they said that they never got a vehicle in their garage, but it's 2023. How do you not have a vehicle in your garage yet? I can understand the, the need to wait until something breaks on the 2021 but what's going on Haynes? come on i need this is my book i've always gotten this book no matter what vehicle i've had my 95 jeep and my 97 jeep cherokee laredo both had a manual for it and all the way up to my 2010 i've had the manual for it i've always gotten a manual and now i can't get a 2021 manual for my vehicle now if someone knows about a manual that i can grab let me know besides my own personal owner's manual that comes with the vehicle but I was having issues trying to find out where my fuel filter was. And that brings me back to what I was trying to refer to. I need to do a repair on my fuel filter, which obviously since I can't find a freaking manual, I decided to look it up on YouTube. I'm glad that there's some people that actually have YouTube channels that are dedicated to car repairs. And someone was able to have the exact same model as what I have, which made it a lot easier because I didn't know the fuel filter for that model was like right in front of the gas tank underneath like the driver door. So thank God for the YouTube video. I finally found it. I ordered the part, the parts coming in and I don't know if, if I should make a video on it or not, but it's up to you guys. If you guys would like me to make a video on it, I can. If not, then obviously you can look it up on YouTube if you have that year make and model uh truck unless you're one of those mechanics that already knows everything about the vehicles but when you skip years i don't know if they're all the same so like from 2010 for my older model to 2021 that's a 10 year gap i don't know if the things have shifted or changed positions of where they were the previous time to this time so that's why i had to look up a video for it so yeah anyway I have a part ordered, I have to do that repair, and then I'm going to be troubleshooting my girlfriend's truck. She has a 2015 1500 Chevy Silverado. She has a leak in her um, air conditioning. So I have done an air conditioning repair in the past, 
on my 2010 and i just had to basically uh i think i did a leak repair but i didn't do like a full-blown part replacement because it didn't need a part replacement it just was low on refrigerant uh there was no leak from when i detected it but i just had to do a, a recharge if you guys are familiar with that i had to do a recharge on the uh ac so hers seems a little bit different because i did put coolant in her car last year it did have a leak in it apparently because before last year it ran out around winter time so that signaled to me that there is a oh my god jesus oh oh dude that thing took it too but yeah last year it had like it, it partially lasted when i filled the tank so i'm gonna have to do a repair on that too and that should be coming up within the next three weeks. I'm assuming three weeks. I'm just, I'm going based off of what I can do for right now. Minus the YouTube videos uh, for you guys. So that brings me to why I wanted to talk about the channel and updating you guys if I should create another channel or not. But for right now, that's not going to happen until I get feedback from you guys. Is that thing wrapped around the tree? That's the first time I've seen that happen. I didn't know it can wrap. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can lift it up. Hey, uh, we're pro fishermen. But yeah, so I have a few updates that I'm going to be doing, which may interfere with making uh, videos for you guys to keep updated on. But um, if you prefer to be to make the videos, maybe we got some experts that are watching my videos right now and can share some uh, pointers, tips, and things like that. I'll probably create... Well, obviously, I have it on my Twitter yeah so i have postings on my twitter for right now but i have to figure out a way to actually communicate with you guys because the only way i can look is via the comments on my videos that's the only way i can look right now other than that i can look other ways so those are my updates coming up let me know what you think i should do for those i don't mind making a video i don't have all the equipment to making a video but obviously i have a phone so maybe that's good anything for like irl stuff like you see vloggers do for like traveling and things like that i don't have all that equipment yet but i could work on that it's not really hard to do it's just the prices of uh things that go up which put you in a spot where you like oh i don't want to spend that much you know that kind of deal so that's a, oh my whoa whoa okay i think we hit the trophy or unique no you Son of a... Oh... Okay, well, at least it's off the list. Oh my god, dude. I don't want that thing. Alright, well, last fish is gonna fill the fish keep and we're gonna advance to another day. Oh my gosh. Hey, there we go. Alright, well, no luck on the trophy. So let's go to the next morning. 899 bucks. You know what? we're slowly making it we're on day three now perfect wait so what's the next time so i have an hour and four minutes okay that's fine um so let's swap over to the lower casting rod um i think everything's pretty much a spoon minus those um shiners Crankbaits and shads, casting spoon, casting spoon, casting spoon. Okay, we pretty much nail all of these in one. Let's go. Yeah, let's just let's just chill right here. We'll, we'll just cast it deep. See what we can snag out of here. Let's go up to the next real speed. So we're switching over to lower casting, and we're on the river. So. Let's do a twitch first. Oh, okay. Oh. Alright, already a tough issue. Hey. Oh god, that's young. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. We might be struggling. Alright, let's drop it down to a one. Actually, let's keep it at two. That's fine. Why is that? That's going straight and slow. That's how fast this current is. It doesn't even recognize it properly. 
sir. Can you not be in my video? I'm just kidding. I love you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's recognized. Okay. That was unexpected. Oh, shoot. Okay. That was... Oh. What do we get? Okay, that's the original. Okay. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And what is there? A trophy on this lake? Oh my god, there's a trophy. Alrighty. Okay. We are going to have some fun times in here. Alright, so it's going to probably pick it up as a lift and drop. Yeah. Now it's going to start to twitch. And by the way, this should actually make my money back. If you catch bass and other exotics to the water, other than panfish, the most money you'll make is from the trophy and the unique panfish and then from the bass you'll make the most on them too Ooh, yo these things are hitting like champs jeez Ooh, what size hook is this on this uh lure the size one. Oh gosh we should be nailing the big boy out of the water Anyway, um, the most money comes out of the uh, trophies and the unique panfish and the most money from bass to exotics comes out of normal to trophy to unique range. So at least that's what I'm noticing. I'll let it drop down. Uh, actually, because this current is so strong, it just pulls everything down. Let's drop it to a one and just retrieve like that. So we're looking for trophy, largemouth. I don't have a shad, so I might have to buy a jig head so I can get the boat fin. Unless you can catch a boat fin on this uh, lower, which I don't know if I've ever done that before. God, I love that whip. See that lip on the, ooh, look at that line. Ooh, yes, that whip. Okay, so it doesn't like slow action. It's at a constant reel, but it doesn't like slow action, which is interesting. It is sunny out, so this should still work. It's also 5.30 in the morning. Oh my god. Alright, so it likes fast action, which is no biggie. We can always do this anyway. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you guys once this comes in. So I'm going to cast it out, um, and I'm going to do a lift and drop. And you see how the river is moving pretty fast right here in front of me? I'm going to try to do the lift and drop, and I want to show you exactly what I was talking about when I do the lift and drop. Okay, so I'm going to drop it to one for a perfect example. The lift, wait. So it doesn't want to lift on a one. Now, if I up it, if the like, it doesn't, it's not going to ever hit a three, especially like this. So it's never going to hit three. Let's just retrieve it. Oh, and sometimes that will happen because it knows that it wasn't a three, but still you'll, oh my God, that was a big boy. Anyway, so I love bass. Oh my God, I love bass. Level 10, North Carolina. That's above the state that I was born. <laughs> Come on, man, is there any South Carolina? Looks like we got a lot of rods. Ooh, is that? I don't know if that's with a bait coin. That would be perfect to have. Another stringer, jerk bait, poppers. Oh, I love poppers. That's my traditional popper right there. We're all fish. Oh boy, we're definitely getting into the North Carolina vibes. We don't, us up here in the Northern Hemisphere don't have crawfish that I'm aware of. I've never used crawfish in the waters up here. Jeez, we unlocked a lot of crap. God. What a boomer. Is anyone going to get their bobber? <laughs> All right. Um, so let me show you the way to get the three. So I'm going to cast it downstream. Ooh, hopefully we can get it across that. And let me see if I can pop it over that. Oh, I already did it. Okay. So casting it downstream with the current is flowing. Once it hits the bottom, it won't like take the line out further, but if I start doing my lift and drop technique, I can try it on the one. Yeah, the one's not going to do it. So let's go to the two. Oh, well, we hit something there. So if you cast it downstream, as you can see, it's going a little bit higher. 
and if you're having issues with the three you'll have to like go you have to like go down to the number one especially with a down water current and it should do exactly what you're expecting it to do now i don't know why i'm not able to hit the three but going down current on casting waters on uh i'm sorry going oh shit what bro <laughs> oh gosh anyway let's uh go over here that way i can throw it down the stream so we'll start right here looking at this we'll throw it past these or at least as far as our line will let us go now you basically are in the channel of the water and now we can start doing our lift and drop and you can see once you find the rhythm, you'll start having a uh, lot. The two in this perspective will be really high, which will give you that higher lift. But um, it doesn't give you exactly what you are wanting. So you can cheat it by running the one and I'm not going to get it. I, I'm, I'm fluking this video. Anyway, just take my word for it. It actually works. I wish I could get it, but it doesn't want to do it. But yeah, just just take my word for it. When you're casting it downstream, it tends to work better with the uh, lift and drop because you're pulling against it and uh, you're able to lift it at the same time. Oh, there was a two. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's right. You got to like reel it fast or constantly reel it and then do like a, a worm kind of lift with your uh, lure in the water. That's what it. OK, let me just fast reel that. And then if I do that same thing on a two speed, it does not like that. Like I, I've tried to get a three on a two speed. It does not want to work. Trust me on the one. It's like the best. Yeah, because it just wants to go up and it goes into it twitching. But on the one. Oh. OK, can't show you that example, but I'll take a fish. Whoa, buddy. I think we need a better line because uh it's either the line or the reel i need the trophy if you don't mind but yeah the one will work a lot better on on a downstream on a fast current if you're acting like a twitch it will register as a lift and drop let me see if i can just keep it like that for you Yeah, see, so it will register as a twitching, but if it's on the bottom, it will register as a lift and drop. See, now you can stop it midway and actually like consider it the drop because you stop reeling, but it likes to do that for me. I've noticed. We're going to become a bass master. I love catching bass. And I actually have, um, in the waters that I fished over in my, where I used to live, it's on fish brain, which is one of my links in my, uh, description down below the video. The thing was a surprise catch. Let me rephrase that right now before you go and look at the, the, the photo of it. But because it was a surprise catch, I was not expecting to pull such a big fish out of that lake. Every time I've gone fishing in that lake every bass that I've caught and you'll see a couple photos on fish brain and that will give you an idea of where I was fishing. There was a, a couple of fish in there that were small and I mean they were small and they were enough to put your fit your thumb in because obviously you lip them but this fish I tried to lip and I caught it on that that crawfish crankbait. I think it was a crankbait. Yeah it was a crankbait because it had a rattler in it and that fish was so big it maxed my um my rod and it also was hard to pull in shore that like i said that was my first biggest fish that i've caught in out of fresh water minus the river that i used to fish at and minus the ocean that i've used to fish at it was so big but you can see my reaction i'm like in shock and i look like i'm doing a funny face <laughs> if any of you are following me from there it's crazy how that that fish was caught I couldn't believe that I got that big fish. Honestly, I didn't even eat beforehand, so my I was shaking. It was a, the most amazing fish I pulled out of that lake. And ever since then, I went back a week or two later 
I tried to catch that same fish in that same spot and I couldn't get it. I just could not get it. That if there was a tournament on that lake, I probably would have won with that fish. And that's the best part of uh, inshore uh, lake fishing because you catch random things by surprise. And I actually thought I caught a catfish. I'm not going to lie. I either snagged it or something like that. But no, I caught a pretty fat boy. Let's see. I didn't have my measuring, my tape measure. I didn't have my, oh, oh, I didn't have my tape measure. I didn't have my scale. I didn't have any of that. Like, because like I've mentioned, everything usually small when I catch something. So that was, uh, check it out. The link's in the description. Check it out. Just, you'll see it. You'll laugh at the emotional face that I have on. <laughs> oh my God. The memories of bass fishing. I was actually trying out. If anyone's familiar with the mystery tackle box kit um, from online, which I definitely highly recommend checking out, I stopped their subscription because I took a break from fishing and work was getting in in the way of it. I think it's a subscription thing if you're uh, if you've done it before. If not, then I don't know if it's still a subscription. But I know you can buy mystery tackle box at certain stores, uh, and it's just obviously like a mystery of uh, lures and baits to try and on the water you're near or uh in that area i was trying to be like i think professional fishermen they actually get sponsors and things like that i was actually trying to do a sponsorship with them and actually if they sponsor me here in, in these videos even you know i would not mind that <laughs> i did catch something on your lore so if you're hearing this i didn't sponsor it but i did catch something on your lore so you should go check that out uh anyway i did catch it on one of their lures for the, I believe it was under the bass and the pickerel or pike uh, category on their website, but I did catch something on their lures. And I still to this day have two or three tackle boxes because I kept the subscription going for a certain time. I think I have my two tackle boxes suited out from their uh, tackle box kits that they have. So I, I don't know if there's other brands out there now with different things, but Check them out. I love testing their lures and that was the first lure kit that I've ever gotten and wanted to try out because I was tired of going to Walmart and getting whatever Walmart had and hopefully it either working or not working. And the only thing that we would ever get from Walmart was honestly the terminal tackle, which is your sinkers, the hooks, fishing rod and reels, and then the Rapala minnows and the spinners were the only ones that I've ever bought from them. I didn't really care for all the other plastics that are in there at Walmart. I think we'll try to get one more fish and we might end the video. There was a lot of rambling going on in here, but we'll try to get one more fish. So we'll switch over to twitching just because I don't think I'm going to be able to snag everything else. Yeah, I feel bad that I'm breaking it up into like three videos per one lake, but you can only get what you get out of the water. so. It's not much I could do, especially since I don't want to make long videos. Oh, that's another thing too. So based on the previous videos leading up to this video, and we'll leave it at this. Let me know if you guys prefer the long videos. Like I know I had a couple 33 minutes or 30 minutes and above, but uh, I don't like making them that long. But sometimes the videos and the way that the rate of catching fish on this game even it feels like it feels like you're outdoor really fishing like I, I can't explain it enough that this is literally like real life fishing like you if you're out all day for maybe five hours of fishing your videos are going to be long like you can't avoid it so i'm taking that into consideration and this is exactly what it comes out to be is a long video for you guys to watch and i don't know if you guys are preferring shorter videos or longer videos but in order to hit all the criteria the longer videos are obviously going to have all of your content that you're wanting to see of a video i don't know you guys have to let me know about that like i can't i can't control it it's just the way that they turn out in the edits so i've also like you probably couldn't tell in the previous episode but um i'm also adding like some soundtracks to like bring the vibe of outdoor fishing and all that the music tracks of, uh, of what i'm enjoying of listening to while i'm fishing so you got those background noises that you're hearing probably the last one was low but i'll fix that into this one if you guys like some of their soundtracks feel free to use them if you're making projects you can use them as well they are doing the 
place that I'm using is called Epidemic Sound. If you are interested in creating a project for YouTube or whatever you're wanting to use soundtracks for, uh, Epidemic Sound has a lovely selection. They have from just basic soundtracks to your cartoonish, I would say, of uh, sound effects. Anything that's a sound effects, pretty much. So they have soundtracks and sound effects. So if you're creating a project and you like what's in this video, I do have a link that's shared at the bottom of the video's description. Uh, you can sign up as well. You'll get a one month free trial on it. You'll also get to see what my soundtrack for each video is. Sometimes it's the same, sometimes it's different, but you'll be able to follow along as well with what soundtracks I have. Maybe find something that you may like and create a project. It's pretty cool how they have it. But yeah, like I said, you get one month free trial. And if you like it, you can obviously continue to subscription after that. If you don't like it, you can cancel at any time. So yeah, I think we will end it there. Caught a couple bass. We completed the black bullhead. That's a, probably an achievement, right? Yep, completed the black bullhead. So yeah, going back to the first part of the video, the updates and everything like that. We'll see how that works out. I'm going to post this video first for an after Memorial Day kind of uh, video for you guys. And based on your feedback, uh, it will tell me what I should do for the upcoming stuff of the harvest video. And if you guys want to see me and you have a 2021 Chevy Silverado or GMC, I believe as well, I can do that video on uh, replacing the fuel filter even though there's already videos out there. Let me know in the comments what you think. Again, Epidemic Sound is doing a uh, one month free trial. I'm using their service, so they allowed me to use in the uh, community section of their page. It's pretty cool. I didn't even know that they had a community page to this. So if you're a subscriber to their using sound effects or using soundtracks, you can actually get a part of their community. So if you like the video, give the video a like. If you want to subscribe, give the video a subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks. Have a good one.